In a quaint little town nestled in the heartland of America, stood a house that had witnessed over a century of history. This house, with its weathered exterior and charming Victorian architecture, had stood tall for 112 years, silently holding the stories of generations past. Little did anyone know that this house carried with it a dark secret and enigmatic presence that would forever change the life of a young girl named Lizzie. Lizzie, an adventurous and spirited soul, was searching for a place to call her own. When she stumbled upon this old house, she was captivated by its charm and immediately felt a strong connection to it. Despite the warnings of locals who whispered tales of unexplained occurrences and chilling encounters within its walls, Lizzie couldn't resist the allure. She was determined to unlock the mysteries that lay dormant within the house's aging framework. With the stroke of a pen and a handful of keys, Lizzie became the proud owner of the house. Excitement and curiosity filled her heart as she stepped through the creaking front door for the first time. Little did she know that her life was about to take a chilling turn. As the days turned into nights, Lizzie began to experience inexplicable phenomena. Strange noises echoed through the house's corridors, and objects mysteriously moved from their rightful places. Shadows danced in the corners of her vision, and an eerie coldness permeated the air. The haunting whispers of a forgotten past lingered, calling out to her. Unbeknownst to Lizzie, the house harbored the tormented souls of three Native Americans, unjustly murdered within its walls nearly a century ago. Their spirits, trapped between the realms of the living and the dead, yearned for justice and release. Sensing Lizzie's presence, they saw an opportunity to seek solace and find redemption through her. Night after night, the spirits grew bolder, attempting to possess Lizzie's very being. Yet, she refused to succumb to their malevolent influence. Determined and resilient, Lizzie delved into the history of the house, researching the tragic events that had occurred there. She spent countless hours in libraries and archives, piecing together the fragmented stories of the Native Americans whose lives were tragically cut short. Armed with knowledge, Lizzie sought the assistance of a local shaman, hoping to find a way to free the spirits and put their tortured souls to rest. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey, performing ancient rituals and communicating with the ethereal realm. Lizzie's unwavering determination to confront the past and bring justice to the fallen souls impressed the spirits, who began to see her as an ally rather than an adversary. However, as Lizzie delved deeper into the supernatural realm, the line between reality and the supernatural became increasingly blurred. The weight of the spirit's presence bore heavily on her sanity. Haunting visions invaded her dreams, and whispers of darkness echoed through her mind. The relentless battle against possession began to take its toll, and Lizzie's once vibrant spirit started to crumble. In a desperate attempt to preserve her sanity, Lizzie voluntarily committed herself to a mental institution. Within the sterile walls of her confinement, she battled not only the spirits but her own fragile state of mind. Doctors and nurses tried to reassure her that her experiences were mere figments of a troubled imagination, dismissing the haunting presence that had consumed her life. Days turned into months and months into years. Lizzie's struggle continued, her connection to the house and its spirits never truly severed. Alone in her padded room, she whispered to the echoes of the past, pleading for understanding and forgiveness. The spirits, still trapped in the house, mourned the loss of their wood. Chapter 2 The Forgotten Redemption Years passed, and the world outside the asylum moved on, oblivious to the battles that raged within Lizzie's fractured mind. Yet, deep within her soul, a glimmer of hope persisted a flickering flame that refused to be extinguished. Unbeknownst to Lizzie, a group of paranormal investigators had caught wind of the house's dark history and the stories of her haunting ordeal. Driven by their insatiable curiosity and the desire to uncover the truth, they delved into the depths of the house, armed with equipment to capture any evidence of the supernatural. As they entered the house, the spirits stirred, their ethereal presence tangling with the investigators' instruments. Shadows danced in the flickering light, and an otherworldly chill gripped the air. The investigators, undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, ventured deeper into the heart of the house, guided by the echoes of the past. Their investigation led them to the room where Lizzie had once stood, a place that had become a nexus of both her torment and her resilience. 
As they set up their equipment, the spirits whispered their stories, yearning to be heard, longing for redemption. The investigators, attuned to the ethereal realm, listened intently, their senses heightened by the weight of the spirit's presence. With each passing moment, the veil between the two worlds grew thinner. The spirits, recognizing the intentions of these newfound allies, mustered their strength, pouring their essence into the room. The investigators, their hearts open to the spirit's plea, channeled their energy, creating a conduit between the physical and the spiritual. As the energy surged through the room, Lizzie, confined within the walls of the asylum, felt a tremor deep within her soul. She sensed the spirit's presence, their determination to find peace. In that pivotal moment, a glimmer of clarity broke through the haze of her fractured mind. Lizzie realized that she held the key to their redemption. Summoning every ounce of strength, Lizzie fought against the chains of her own insanity. She recalled the rituals she had learned, the ancient words whispered in her dreams. With determination burning in her eyes, she began to chant, her voice infused with the power of ages past. In the house, the spirits recognized Lizzie's call, their essence swirling with renewed purpose. The room filled with a blinding light, the clash of spiritual and mortal forces reaching a crescendo. The walls trembled, and a whirlwind of energy consumed the investigators and Lizzie alike. In that moment, the spirits found release. Their ethereal forms dissolved into the light, ascending to the heavens, finally finding the peace they had sought for over a century. Lizzie, her purpose fulfilled, collapsed to the floor, her mind now liberated from the clutches of possession. Days turned into weeks, and Lizzie emerged from the asylum, forever changed by her tumultuous journey. The townspeople, once wary of her, now regarded her with reverence. They had witnessed the battle she had fought, the sacrifice she had made to free the spirits that had haunted their beloved town. Lizzie, no longer haunted by the house's malevolent presence, dedicated her life to helping others plagued by the supernatural. She became a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, and a protector of the vulnerable. The old house, now devoid of its haunting presence, stood as a testament to the power of redemption. Its walls whispered tales of a girl who had ventured into the darkness, faced her own demons, and emerged victorious. And though the scars of her journey would forever mark her, they also served as a reminder that even in the face of madness and despair, there is always the possibility of finding. Chapter 3, A New Beginning Lizzie's triumph over her haunting past resonated far beyond the boundaries of the small town. Her story spread like wildfire, capturing the attention of those fascinated by the supernatural and the resilience of the human spirit. She became a beacon of inspiration for others facing their own battles, their own haunted pasts. Recognizing her unique abilities and the knowledge she had gained through her harrowing experiences, Lizzie found herself in high demand. Paranormal organizations sought her guidance, inviting her to share her insights and offer solace to those tormented by spirits trapped between worlds. She became a renowned expert, sought after for her expertise in understanding the delicate balance between the living and the dead. Lizzie traveled far and wide, visiting places plagued by hauntings and seeking to bring peace to those trapped in the in-between. Her empathetic nature and unwavering determination touched the lives of countless individuals who had lost hope in the face of the supernatural. She became a guardian, a bridge between the realms, guiding spirits towards their ultimate redemption. But even as Lizzie dedicated her life to helping others, a part of her still longed for a sense of normalcy and stability. She yearned to find a place she could call home, a sanctuary where she could rest her weary soul. And so, she returned to the town where her journey had begun, the town that had once held the House of Haunting. To her surprise, the townspeople welcomed her with open arms, grateful for the peace she had brought to their lives. They saw her not as the girl who had battled possession, but as a heroine, a savior who had freed their community from the grip of darkness. They offered her a place to stay, a modest cottage nestled on the outskirts of town, where she could find solace and rebuild her life. In her new home, Lizzie cultivated a garden, a vibrant sanctuary blooming with life and tranquility. It became a testament to her own journey of growth and renewal. She spent her days tending to the flowers, finding solace in their delicate petals and the steady rhythm of nature. 
As time passed, Lizzie discovered that her own inner demons were not entirely banished. The memories of her battle with possession still haunted her dreams, occasionally creeping into her waking moments. But she had learned resilience, and she knew she possessed the strength to face whatever darkness might arise. In the quiet moments of introspection, Lizzie began to write. She poured her experiences onto the page, weaving tales of courage, redemption, and the delicate dance between the living and the dead. Her stories captured the hearts of readers around the world, resonating with those who had faced their own demons and yearned for a glimmer of hope. Through her writing, Lizzie found catharsis. Each word penned was a step towards her own healing, a way to reclaim her voice and share her truth with others. Her books became bestsellers, reaching the hands of individuals who found solace and inspiration within the pages. Lizzie's journey, once marked by darkness and uncertainty, had transformed into one of purpose and resilience. She had embraced her own haunting past, emerging from the shadows to become a guiding light for others. The ghosts of her own struggles had become the catalyst for her transformation, the catalyst that fueled her to help those who felt lost in the grip of the supernatural. And so, in her humble cottage, surrounded by blooming flowers and the whispers of the wind, Lizzie discovered that true strength lies not in the absence of fear or the erasure of scars, but in the courage to confront one's own demons and emerge on the other side, ready to face whatever darkness may come. Her journey was far from over, but she was armed with resilience.